everyone, I'm Paul Meaches Paul and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm up in Stewart, Florida and I'm at the Stewart Air Show. This is a great event that takes place uh, right around every Veterans uh, Day weekend. Uh, it started Friday with a special uh, event where they have like a sort of a party and you get to meet all the vendors and a lot of the pilots and all that. That's a special event on Friday night. And then they have all the stuff that goes on Saturday and Sunday from about nine to five. So uh, like I said, they're about to start the show with the flag ceremony. I want to catch that, it's really cool, but there's tons of really awesome planes and jets that you can take a look at and you can go on tours. Um, you can see behind me, we got this really cool beach craft right here. Um, just super cool, I love those old kind of planes. Um, you can see the huge jet, transport jet that's back there. I'm gonna go on that in a little while. There's kind of a long line. Um, and then there's just all sorts of other events. They uh, actually, you can hear in the background, they have a, a Huey helicopter and uh, you can go on a helicopter ride, but it costs you about $85. Super cool. Um, really, just this is an awesome event. I'm happy to bring it to you today. One of the great things that you can do here uh, in November in South Florida. Another cool event. Let's check out the show. So I'm uh, right up here, right by the airfield. I'm up in an area that's kind of like a VIP area if you want to pay for it or it's for the press. And of course, uh, I was able to get my press pass for this event. So uh, you can hear the planes. We're getting ready to do a, a show with some of the old fighter planes. Uh, we just saw the uh, color guard and the flag ceremony, which was absolutely beautiful. So uh, you look above me. So this is going to be a great show. You guys are really going to like this, and I highly recommend that if you're here in November around Veterans Day, you check it out. I think general admission is like $35, and then they have some special tickets for places like VIB seating like this, where you can hold table and other events. All right, let's watch the show. I was wrong, so they're not doing the older planes. These are the stunt planes doing these really cool uh, airplane acrobatics, and uh, check this out. Sorry about that. Oh, no, I couldn't no. see. Nobody could see. Oh my god, no worries. I was wondering what he was going to do, what his plan was. Yeah, 
Wow, that was crazy. Oh my God. Well, that was interesting. So they just had uh, a jet, like a uh, jet truck come out here on the uh, tarmac and um, <laughs> I don't know, he lit it up a couple times and then he did something and just, you just felt this huge hot air you know, come blasting back and it just hit everyone. And I think it caught everyone by surprise because everyone just kind of ran back and stuff got knocked over. That was a little bit intense. Nobody was expecting that. So here's that cool jet truck we saw earlier today. Look at that thing. Guinness world record, 407 miles an hour. Woo. So there's all sorts of cool planes that are going to be going on throughout the day, different types of planes. I think right now they got a couple World War II planes, which I'd like to go see. But I also want to walk around and check out the show and just show you guys some of the other cool things. So you see these lines are a little bit long. Um, it's like a record crowd this year. But uh, as you say, you got cool uh, Army transport vehicles and you can get on the big uh, carrier. There's a Chinook helicopter I'm heading over to right now. And uh, it's all pretty cool. Great, great event. Uh, honoring our veterans and uh you know it's just fun to see these really super cool planes that are flying by i love that sound right there that's the best so uh all right let's go check out this cool chinook helicopter How's it going today? Good, how you doing, sir? Good, man. Thanks for your service, guys. Thank you. Appreciate that. So this is a Chinook helicopter. It's a transport uh, military helicopter. And uh, I'm definitely glad I never had to ride in one of these things. Uh, I can only imagine how scary it was flying in this thing and then knowing that uh, you're getting dropped off somewhere to meet unfriendlies, but still very cool. All right, guys, so that was really cool going through the Chinook helicopter. I'm here with... Warrant Officer One Howell. Ms. Howell is our Officer Howell is here. And uh, I just wanted to ask her, do our military service enjoy paradise? Always. Everybody loves paradise. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Appreciate it. So that was pretty cool going through that. And that was very cool of uh, Officer Howell to uh, you know, come on camera and talk to me. Her mom was right next door. You could see her mom just glowing with pride that her daughter is here. And, uh, you know, something to remember uh, that this show is honoring all our veterans and uh, all those who serve and have served. So, uh, you know, um, I've always been a big supporter of our military and our veterans. God bless y'all for what you do. And uh, thank you for protecting us. Um, now, if you hear some gunfire, don't worry. <laughs> it's a reenactment that's going on over here. And it's pretty cool. And, uh, uh oh, there's a jet. And I want to see the Jets. I've walked away from the main field to see the rest of the show. And uh, it looks like they've got an old uh, Vietnam era jet flying. So uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get some of that. But as I said, uh, they got a reenactment going over here and they're showing them shoot some cool guns. Let me just pan around here. You can see back here. It's pretty neat. So there's a lot of fun stuff going on. But uh, I definitely want to go catch this jet. So I'm going to run back over that way real quick. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Yeah, I hope you get down the How y'all doing? A little warm. I saw. So this is a really cool sort of museum. They got all this war. Look at this, guys. 
rocket launcher he's seeking. How cool is that? So it's the uh, Road to Victory Military Museum. So this is a museum that's up here. So this is... A... So you guys actually have a museum up here in Stewart that people can go check out. Oh, cool. Awesome. I'll have to come check that out. Hey, so I'm here with Mike, and he's with the Road to Victory Military Museum. Now, this is something I haven't heard about, guys, and I would love to go check it out because I live here in South Florida, and I love history, and I love honoring our vets. So, uh, Mike, well, can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Road to Victory Museum, and where is it, and uh, how long has it been around? Sure do. Uh, so, we were established in 2014 by one member with a small collection. After that, it kind of grew out into a uh, small little World War II barracks that we now house our museum in. Oh, cool. Um, we have a wide range of either uh, artifacts, we have things back to the Civil War and all the way up to the present day. Oh, um, wow. So it's not just like uh, the modern kind of military or World War II type stuff in Vietnam. No, we Even have older, a wow. wide selection. And also we have a fleet of vehicles. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen some of you saw. So as I walked, before I saw Mike, I was walking by the booth over there and you saw the cool you know, guns and the heat seeking missile. And we're going to go back here in a minute. They actually have a, guys that are shooting the guns. That's why I told you, don't worry. There's not an active shooter situation going on here. It's part of the show. But uh, well, that's really cool. So are you guys open right now that people can come visit you? So we are only open Saturdays from 10 to 2. Okay, Saturdays 10 to 2. And where are you located? We're located in Stewart, Florida. Stewart, Florida, okay. Right behind the courthouse, we know where that is. Right behind the courthouse, yes. okay. All right, I'll put a link. So I'll put a link so you guys can find it yourself if you're down here, and then you can go check them out. Mike, thanks, man. No problem. Appreciate it, brother. Cool Take show, care. huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a All podcast. right, tell everyone, uh, you enjoy Paradise? Oh, I always do. Everybody enjoys Paradise. Thanks, man. No problem. Appreciate it. All right, all you slack jaws, come on. Get in, load up. We're heading off to Paradise. Let's go. Come on. You locked and loaded? Ready? Aim. Fire! That's what I'm talking about! Wow! Did I stumble onto the, uh, oh, that's why we're here. I'm behind enemy lines, aren't I? Yes. I think I might be in trouble. But you're with the press, so we'll let you in. Okay. <laughs> that thing's crazy. So what is this? Uh, that's a German MG-34. <laughs> Don't shoot. I'm with the press. <laughs> Wait. Don't shoot. I'm with YouTube. <laughs> that was that was pretty cool, right? So Mike let me kind of get down there and just uh, look at this German gun. This thing's crazy. Can you believe it? he said that thing shoots about a mile? Yeah, about a mile when you're using it as indirect fire. So they would fire it like a kind of like a mortar. They like, shoot it. They would actually shoot it over their troops because it went so far, and then they'd be shooting it at you know our guys. So um, hey, I like to talk. You know, let you plug who you guys are. So what's your uh, what's your uh, your reenactment troop here in Florida? What's your name? Uh, we're reenacting the 59th Fusiliers, which is uh, basically like 59th Infantry for German infantry. Very cool. And you guys do shows all around Florida? Oh yeah, all around Central Florida, South Florida, Northern Florida. Yeah. All right. And uh, I have a little tagline on my channel that says "Enjoy Paradise." Do you think the uh, Germans enjoy Paradise? Oh, I'm sure. All right. Uh, we'll just we'll say it for this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, cool. All right, man. Thanks, brother. Thank I was, you. I was gonna try to thank. You. I, I, I only know. I only know. Where's he at? I said. I only know one thing. Guten Morgen. So I, I don't know how to say anything else in German. Guten Abend. This is the afternoon. So. Guten Abend. There you go. Thanks, man. I appreciate no it. All right. That guy might have been pedaling for peace, <laughs> depending on which side he was fighting for. All right. So uh, you can see behind me the big one. There's still a pretty good line over there, but I may go wait and get in that. There's more stuff going on. It looks like they're in between shows. Um, there's a helicopter flight going on right now. I think that's the DEA flight in the background over there by the uh, field. So, but there's some more cool stuff to check out here. So uh, let's go uh, look at this. Check out, anybody remember the show MASH? Remember that? So uh, here you go. I wonder if Hawkeye's here. <laughs> I used to love that show. 
Now you know I'm showing my age. With a name like Palm Beach's Fall, I need a plane called Island Time and hop over my own little private island. All right, so we got into the uh, large plane of the show. This is a C-17 cargo. It's a little dark in here, but um, the lady was in there was just saying that they can fit like three helicopters in here and just all sorts of stuff. I mean, it is enormous. I mean, just let me spin around and show you the, the size and the magnitude of this thing. It is a big plane. So you can see it goes all the way down. You got all these people in here. And you can see they've got it like sort of mock set up for a rescue. There's some metal equipment here. You can see all the seats on the side. You look down below, you can see all the little clamps where they can lock stuff down, all the transport, cargo, whatever they need to carry in here. Pretty cool. This thing's so big though. All right, so I got the seat that was assigned to me because there's no first class here and I'm sure you're not getting any champagne or anything fancy with your uh, flight. But uh, yeah, I'll leave this up to the brave ones. This is a big, big plane, and I can uh, only imagine sitting in this and just wondering where your destination is, where you're going to be parachuting out to. But um, this is a pretty cool plane. All right, well, there's a lot more to see in the show, so I'm going to get back in line, and let's go check it out. So they actually have uh, people going up to the cockpit, but it's like an hour-long wait. So we're going to pass on that, because I want to see the fighter jets. But uh, all right. Thank you. Great flight. Watch this, you're gonna like it.